So what do we do if we have an ax and the handle's a little bit bent or warped? Well, it's a pretty easy fix. I did it a few times and I wanted to share the process with everybody. As far as equipment to do this project, we're actually gonna steam bend the ax handle. There's a couple things that we're actually gonna need to bring in. First of all, it's gonna be your ax. This is an old Norland ax with an original handle that I have. It has a slight bend in it, but I've been using this ax for a while and I haven't had any problems with it. I'm just thinking it's time to get this fixed and have it proper. So of course, you're gonna need your bent ax handle first and foremost. Second, you're gonna need some type of bucket or container that you can boil water in. And then all that I did was I took a piece of roofing metal, I cut a hole in it and I put a piece of small stove pipe with an elbow into that. And this is actually gonna sit right on top of our bucket. And I'll go through this process a little bit more detail once we get to it. But that's initially, that's what our um, steamer is gonna look like. We're also gonna need, I have some big C clamps here, two big C clamps, and I have a big heavy duty piece of wood here that what we're gonna do at the end is use this in the C clamps to re-straighten our ax handle once we get that wood steamed. This is what we got going on. I have my bucket full of water, and then I put my piece of piping that's attached to my piece of roofing over that. Now it's not a perfect fit, if you wanted to take more time and actually make something that fits real nice and tight over a pot, that would be perfect. But we're doing this with some materials I had around the yurt and I actually just brought in, the only thing I had to bring in was that piece of roofing material. So I just punched that out with an awl and stuck the pipe in. I wedged it up so it wasn't flopping all around and we're just gonna let that water get to a boil. Once that gets to a boil, you're gonna see that steam's gonna start pouring out the front side of this pipe and then all we're gonna do is insert our ax and give it some time to steam. Now, depending on how much steam and how tight this is or how much water volume you have, depends how much steam comes out and heat. So there's no exact science to this, guys. You just put your ax in. I normally let it in anywhere from 20 minutes up to an hour. I'll just go about, do my things, keep feeding the fire and um, just let it go for a while. You'll notice when you start to clamp it a little bit later on when we get to that part, if the wood's bending or if it is still feeling real tight. So uh, I'm just gonna let this sit now, let that steam start to build up, and then I'm gonna get my ax in. Okay, so you can see that our steam is starting to come out. So all I did was wrap some rags around the top of the ax, and that's basically just to seal in as much of that steam as possible. Now, of course, you need to be careful you're not making a bomb here, but I know that I have enough gap and stuff around my base here that I'm not gonna to totally seal that off. So we're just gonna put that in, allow the steam to build up in this pipe and heat up our wood. Again, be careful with the open blade around camp, um, but keep that in there anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. Keep your fire good and hot to keep that steam. Every once in a while you can pull it and make sure that you're getting a good amount of steam up in there and that wood will soften up as it keeps continuing to steam. So what I'm gonna do now is clamp my ax handle. I just pulled it out of our steamer. I have the bent side up. Now the reason I have these blocks here is because we actually wanna over bend it the other way. So the bend is up right now, we wanna bend it lower. So when it cools and we remove the clamps, you're gonna get some spring back, okay? These C clamps probably work the best out of any clamps that I've used. I've actually broken the other type of um, clamps that are more like a trigger style and using more like a rope to do this, it sort of works, but it doesn't get everything as tight as you really want it to. What I like to do with this also is put the clamps opposite. And then I just like to flip back and forth with them as I tighten them. So that one slipped and that's gonna happen. So that's where I'm saying you just need to readjust your clamp and just work with it. Get it in there. So it's gonna take a little bit, you have a little bit of time. It is cold out, but you still have some time. That wood's heated up right through. So there's no problem with that. So I have my handle bent there. Now we just gotta readjust this side a little bit. And you can see I'm just back and forth with this, trying to figure out 
where I need to tighten and where I don't. All right, so I got my bend in there. I'm gonna let this set now. In this weather, two, three hours. I'm not gonna rush this process. There's no reason to. Uh, if I was needing this ax that importantly, I wouldn't be going through this whole process. So I really wanna let this sit and set, pop it out here in a few minutes, well, a few hours, and then uh, we should have a straight handle or as close as straight as we can get just by eyeballing it like this. So the ax handle's now cooled. It's been in the vise for a while and actually you can adjust this, the amount of bend you have in the handle as you go along with this process. So don't think just because it's set, you have to leave it like that. And if you overset the ax handle, put it back in your steamer, re-steam it and reset it. So what we're gonna do is just release these out and we have ourselves a nice poker straight handle and we're good to go. So this was Dan Wolak with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to steam bend an ax handle. It's a pretty important skill um, because you can get cheap axes at yard sales and thrift stores and restore them and you're good to go. You don't have to do anything else with them. If you haven't already, check me out on um, coldcrackerbushcraft.com, also on Instagram and Twitter. And until next video, stay in the woods, guys.